You ready? Are right, you ready? All right, here we are at Honda Center in Anaheim, California. And every time I walk into this venue, I can't help but think back to UFC 157 in 2013, the night women were finally welcomed inside the Oh! Really good body kick. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got aggressive. He's got to go take that finish down. And now he lands a combination. I mean, can you imagine having a reach advantage like this? What a luxury. It's a luxury. I've never had one over the course of my entire career. But fighting guys that are taller, you struggle whenever they are very aware of such a massive advantage. This guy is going to try and use this tonight. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Well, just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts. He's unable to get it there. And he's attempting them over and over again. How long before he gets discouraged and accepts that this is going to be a stand-up fight? Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Effective punch there by Kane Velasquez. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Johnny Bones Jones. And he landed the right hand there. Under two minutes to go. That is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough of a sport it is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. I mean, geez, Louise. We're starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. It almost looked like he went lift there for a second. Nice job by Johnny Bones there on the feet. I'm not in the prediction business, but if the opponent doesn't adjust here, this could be the beginning of the end. He's got to do something different. Because for Jones, he's not only a diverse striker, but he's a fantastic finisher. He's a guy that when he gets the opponent's hurt, he knows where to find the spot to end their night. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Velazquez gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him. Oh, I'm talking about this one's all. Round two, Cain Velasquez ready to go. Okay, ready, round two. And ready? John Jones. Let's go, let's go. You gotta check. You gotta check. Low leg kick. Low leg kick. Oh, the kick. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow, blow his opponent down. And down. Nice yeah, poker side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Essie Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. Definite killer instinct here today. And you have to have it. The target's always on your 
back when you're the UFC champion. Jones seems destined to keep that title right around the front. 59 total strikes have landed for John Jones. Well, dipping just below 50% in terms of the connection rate, landing with 49% accuracy tonight thus far against Cain Velasquez. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Jones. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, beautifully executed trip to get the takedown defensively. What are you trying to do to prevent this? You gotta be so aware defensively. Because if you're not, the moment you're out of position, a guy like this will find those takedowns with those trips in all kinds of different ways. Oh, faints upstairs and lands on body. When they land perfect, that is the reaction you're hoping to get. That one landed perfect in this fight. Maybe stop very soon. He can't even, he can barely stand. Take a head kick like this. That is such. Oh, that is it. He's done. He's done. Well, it's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So, somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner, as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. So there he is, the consensus baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, and getting it done with a flurry of strikes here tonight. He is your winner by TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergley out has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 21 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO.